Hey there, in this video we are going to see how to create a beautiful strawberry candy. So for that what we are going to do is first of all I am going to create a custom artboard with, uh, with a size of 1000 px cross 1000 px with and just like width is 1000 and height is 1000 it's like a square artboard just click create. Okay we have created the artboard. Now what we are going to do is we are going to create a beautiful strawberry candy for that first of all what we have to do is we have we need to go to this option uh, we have different options there and this is the option this is the line segment rule we have one option called polar grid tool click this just click it at the center and it will ask what is the size you want and what are the other parameters we have to set first of all i'm going to give this default size to be 600 px cross 600 px okay now we have these two sizes and we have given the width and the height let the concentric dividers be a uh, number should be around zero no we are we, we don't have any concentric dividers and we are going to give the radial dividers and the number will be 20 to create a beautiful polar grid and just click ok now the polar grid has been formed this is the radial dividers you can see it is it has been divided into 20 pieces if we give concentric uh, dividers you, you will be able to see like this circle the circle this whole circle will be divided like this one two three like this now we have given only the radial dividers so it has been divided only in the radial form okay just i'm going to move this over here okay and we are going to change the color of this it's around it's like only it has only the stroke now we are going to give it and we are going to make it as a solid one for that i'm going to change this color then i'm going to swap the fill and stroke just click here before that you have to select this first and just swap it now it's like full of black and i'm going to change the color for that just clicking this or you can go to swatches okay now we can give like this is uh, too much rows now it looks so we can give like this a uh, nice strawberry color so and this is too much so we can adjust a little bit can just give the preview on and we can can I just a little bit over there? Okay, now this looks a little bit awesome. Just click OK. Okay, now what we are going to do is we are going to uh, use the paint bucket tool. Before that, we are going to create some global colors. For that, what we are going to do is we have to go to swatches and after clicking this i am going to make the red as a global one just double click this double left click okay then click global and okay then again the white one i am going to make it as a global double click make it as global okay now we have created two global colors and you can move it near to this okay let it be like this and next what we are going to do is we are going to create uh, different colors at each section so for that we have to go to first select this and we have to go to live bucket tool that is uh, inside the shape builder tool so what you have to do is right click in this option you can see the live paint bucket so all uh, this and the shortcut key is k now click this okay we have clicked this and this collect color is selected in white so go and so go and change the color to red okay we have selected the red now this has been changed to red now click each sections like this okay one two three like this okay okay we have given the colors we have grouped them as a separate colors now we can give other color for this uh, section so the pink color section so I am going to give the color to be the gray a light white similar to white and click this like by selecting each the section okay just click now we have given the colors for a beautiful candy 
I'm going to explain one important thing. What is the benefit of giving a paint using the paint bucket tool to color the each section? Okay, the main benefit is like you can see I'm just clicking outside and just clicking outside here and if I change I'm going to the swatches and these are the two global colors which has been given to this candy and if I'm double clicking this if I change that color you can see uh, the preview is not out. okay now you can see there will be a change in the candy because but we doesn't but we haven't selected the candy we haven't selected anything just I'm changing the color I'm changing the global colors because the global color has been given to this candy so if I change this you can see there will be a change in color this will save a lot of time in designing because you can group all the things whatever things you want as the same color you can group it into the same color see if I want it yellow you can just by changing the color you can able to get it this is how this paint bucket works and the main uh, uh, time saving tool in the illustrator and you can also change this white to blue like this and go click preview you can see that there will be a change in the white color okay that's how this paint bucket tool works and when we are going to change some colors I'm making us looking like a strawberry flavor so I think it looks uh, really uh, looks like a strawberry flavor so, okay we have done some changes okay now it really looks like a strawberry and we are going to change some adjustment do some adjustment in the white color also just up click and like slightly move it as a blue just click preview now you can see it looks a little bit of a strawberry flavor now yeah it's okay now we have fine-tuned now we are going to create a copy of this uh, for the safety purpose okay hold alt and click left click and just drag it out now we have created the copy of that just for the sake of safety purposes and now we are going to create another ellipse and that ellipse I'm just clicking here and the dimension to be 600 cross 600 okay because it is a similar to the candy we have okay we have created the ellipse and just move it aside there the next one more thing what we are going to do is here it is the live paint bucket option still it is so if you change the color here it will change but thereafter we don't need it as a live paint bucket option so I want to change it which means if I change the color here there won't be any changes in the color if I change the red color to a pink color to anything here it should not change so for that what I am what I am going to do is I am just clicking here I'm going to object expand okay we have create click this and make these three options are checked and just click ok now if you change anything there it won't change because now there is no more live bucket so you can see if I click this option sorry if I click this option yeah live paint bucket and just if I move here it will show you click to make a live paint group so which means now it is no more a live paint group okay okay now what we are going to do is we are going to do some changes in this uh, look for that I'm going to click this I'm going to change going to the effect and we have option called twist the twist will be in the distort and transform and go to this twist option just click this twist and now you can preview by changing the angle see it's getting twisted and it looks pretty awesome make it as a 30 and now make it as preview yeah it looks uh, pretty good just click ok now you have made it as a twisted one but you can see if you go nearby it has distorted all the out outline because you can see now it's no more as a circle a perfect circle so what we can do is I'm going to duplicate this one and I'm going to place it at the center of this so now it looks uh, it is at the center of the that candy okay now okay center it's not at the center this is this okay made, made as a center now what we can do is click select 
we have to oh, cut, cut it control x or cut okay cut and now what we are going to do is we are going to slightly scale up this one holding the shift left click just move it's like okay now it's holding shift and alt okay while scaling up we have to hold both alt and shift and just move up and down in order to get the equal scaling on in both direction okay if you hold only shift it will scale in one direction so we need in all the directions so please hold alt shift and then drag it okay i'm going to place it paste paste it over here paste in place okay now you can see the outers all outers having the different contours because we have scaled up and now it is here i'm going to just change the color in order to now to make it uh, more visible for you okay now it's in red color okay now what we are going to do is we are going to do a clipping mask what what it means is it will cut the candy in the shape of the circle we have drawn the red circle so it will crop it so for that we have to go to we have to select both of this thing circle and the candy go to object okay we have the option called clipping mask make and the shortcut key is control plus 7 okay now you can see the nice round edge has been formed because that has been cropped okay now what we are going to do is we need to make a, a good shadow gradient in order to make the candy look realistic so i'm placing this at the center now you can see it is at the front make arrange send to back or you can do one more thing wait okay now I'm going to move this and place it over here. Before that, I have to make it arrange it to front, bring to front, okay, and place it at the center. Now you can see both are the same size and it's at the center. Now click this and make this color to be a gradient one. For that, I'm going to choose gradient as a normal black and white, make it as a radial. Now this looks awesome, and you can able to change the way it looks from black to white or white to black from the center okay and this looks uh, pretty awesome because we need some shadow at the edge so we need some black color at the edge and just click okay now we have created now what we can do is we have to go to this fill select this and we have to go to this layer down here and the ellipse and we need to change some transparency sorry not to the layer we have to go to this path we have the fill and we have the opacity level just click here and you can see that has been uh, uh, the particular gradient has been selected and now this is the opacity level we can just click and change the opacity level to look it's like really realistic and we need to give the shadow make it as a shadow at the end okay and this look pretty awesome because uh, so we can make the opacity level to be around 40 percentage it will do so okay now it looks uh, pretty awesome come back to the older one so how it looks is you can see here uh, this is uh, without uh, the shadows it's like but now it looks somewhat realistic and this is how we have made the candy and this is awesome strawberry candy thanks for watching and have a good day see you in the next video